Okay, I'm going to solder just a few 19mm by 78mm solar panels. Four, five, six, I'm making a 28 cell, sorry, cells, 28 cell panel. I'm just doing one quarter of it, which would be seven. I got these off eBay. Some of them have these little pointed edges. I don't like to use them. I also like to arrange them. Let's see if we can get this in the focus. There we go. I like to keep them on one side, all all aligned. They are just slightly different lengths. That's why I like to keep them on one side. First of all, I've got a soldering gun with a flat tip. Camera does not like to focus. There we go. Screwdriver tip, I guess is what most people would call it. Ah, enough yet. But you do not need very much solder on the end of the tip. I like to start with the back. Just going to flip all these over. I have a soldering pen. Something that I have noted and works really well when I use a pre tinned soldering, a solar ribbon. Nice and thin, got solder on both sides already. Almost the same size as the bottom. On the top, it is almost exactly the same size. But the solder on the top, you can't tell, cuts away just a little bit out of the power if it gets on the cell itself. So try to keep it best possible on the white line. On the back, usually doesn't matter. But more efficient if you keep it white, right on the white line. Other thing, try to get the edges quite well. Right on that, right on the outside, these edges. I found that the ribbon likes to come off sometimes if there's not enough flux on it. One thing I found is if you do the back side and flip it over do the front side as well when you solder on the back side it kind of uses up or does something to the front and doesn't want to stick so I usually do the back solder then do the front and put the flux on the front again as well probably shouldn't have done that in the first one okay flux is on let's see is it hot enough there we go, it's hot enough. That's about as much solder as you will really need to solder this. That's nothing on it. And there it is. Barely anything. Other thing I like to do. Got some water here and a little cloth. I like to pour the water on the cloth. Wet it down a little bit. And then I could use that to clean the tips. Just brush it a little bit, tips nice and clean. Little trick there. Hope it helps someone. I normally try to cut these out to length first. If I'm wrong, are you supposed to do something else first before you cut them? Like solder them on first? Somebody please tell me. I am new to this. There's seven. You also want a nice clean workspace. That's why I have this board sitting here. Probably don't want to scoot them around too much with the cell on top like that. I am just practicing on these until I actually get good enough to do some larger cells. Uh, 
get a pretty good 40 pack for like 10 some dollars online. I'll produce about, let's see, 40 divided by, yeah, so about 10 watts out of 40 of them. Each one's about a quarter of a watt. Each one produces 5 volts, or 0.5 volts and 0.5 amps, so a quarter of a watt. Volts times amps equals wattage. If I'm wrong, please tell me. Put just a little bit of solder on there. I got a little too much on that one. Whoops. Put your ribbon there. Leave just like a millimeter or two at the end so you don't accidentally go over. One of the patterns is if you go over and you try soldering on the up on the top, it connects and you just do a loop and you lose a lot of power and it cause hot spots. I had a lot of it on that time, so I'm not actually going to touch again, which I probably should. Yeah. Smokes because I have just a little bit of flux also inside of the solder. I'm just trying to straighten out the ribbon a little bit. It is just a lead-free solder. I actually got it from Radio Shack. I like to make these as straight as possible. I should straighten these out first. As you could probably tell, it takes a little while to solder a lot of cells, especially ones these small. Alright, I'm going to try to set this up so you can see just what angle I'm actually soldering at. I'm going to try this. I haven't done this before. Hey, too much. Yes, I am new. That's it. messed up slightly on this one, but if you can probably tell that front part is just raised a little bit, you try to avoid that because they, when they heat up they'll tend to try to come off, like when you do the top side. Sorry if I talk a lot, I'm just trying to give as much personal advice that I've found helpful to help any newbies out there to do-it-yourself solar panels. I usually like to do about 14 or so of these all at once. I just found once you have them set up it's easier to do all at once rather than having to set up each each group of six or so. And when you see me moving these around, I am merely just pushing them, really. I am barely even pushing down at all, barely even touching them. They are very fragile and they will crack on you quite easily. When I do the top side, you will actually hear them, some of them will actually start to crackle a little bit as they cool down. That's why when you solder, you don't want to hold the gun on there for very long and make them heat up because as they cool, if it cools unevenly, they will crack, and you'll have to do it all over again. And I, it's almost, I found it's almost impossible for me to unsolder them once I have them soldered in a small panel. Flip them all over. <laughs> 